All right, everybody, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Oh, you're being so nice to me. You did, you did hear that I'm, my name is Karen, right? That's the nicest any room full of people or happiest any room full of people have been in a long time to realize you have a Karen among you. Uh, take it in. You're, you're looking at uh, The Last of Us, uh, The Last of the Karens. I'm an elementary school teacher. Yeah. Uh, for 25 years. And thank you. And uh, I can tell you what, I don't have any current students named Karen. And nor will I ever, ever again. Unless, unless those new parents are just staring into their baby's eyes. Oh wait, look, honey. She's already the president of a homeowner's association. Oh, oh look, she's got her ring camera aimed at the Hispanic neighbor's quinceanera. Oh my gosh, she's dialing eyes to see if they want the footage. Oh my goodness, look at her. Look at her little cat. Um, yeah, it's Halloween week, you guys. Halloween week and I work at an elementary school. You have no idea how amazing it is to know someone's listening to me right now. Woo! Earlier, earlier when we were all saying, my voice is my power, my story matters, I started to cry. I did. Uh, because all week long I've been saying, please, what I'm saying matters. <laughs> Nothing has mattered since Halloween. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, give it up for this all-female show, everybody. Yeah! You know, I'm usually the, the token girl that gets sprinkled into a show, right? Let alone being part of sharing a stage, which is all women, all amazingly talented, Ow! awesome women. Uh, this is amazing. I feel, I feel like, I feel amazing from the power cabaret. I really do from being part of this. I mean, usually I walk around feeling a little bit different, not exactly amazing, but more of like just a walk in a round, like, like somebody in one of those live better with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis drug commercials. <laughs> That's usually how I feel. Like I usually feel just about that okay. Uh, so anyway, today I feel pretty spectacular. So thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm 49, you guys. You can hold your applause for that. Uh, going through menopause. You can also hold your applause for that. Uh, and so are my besties. So are my besties. And we've gone through everything in life together. Like, we all got married around the same time. And then we had our babies around the same time. And then we all got divorced around the same time. And now we're all going through menopause at the same time. And they were like, hey, Karen, like, you seem like you're doing okay. Like, do you recommend your doctor? I'm like, yeah, my doctor is awesome. So now they go to the same doctor as me too. Right? Which is fine. I mean, we've done everything else in life together. Like, we've always been like steel magnolias. And now we're more like steel stirrups. <laughs> or like sisterhood of the traveling front opening gown. <laughs> you know, say what you will about Phoenixville, but good on us, everybody, that as far as we know, for a group of middle aged divorced women, this is the first time the same person's had their hands in all of us. <laughs> yeah, the kids left, I checked. Um, I'm a mom of two adult daughters that I'm incredibly proud of. Uh, and, you know, I'm always saying things to them like, never make yourself small. And then they kind of look at me puzzled because they know I'm wearing Spanx. <laughs> And they know I stopped washing my hands three weeks ago because I'm one stomach virus away from my ideal body weight. <laughs> you know, it's hard though with kids, you know, because like, you know, as a kid, you know, my parents really didn't know a whole lot about teaching me about boundaries. It was a different time. Like what they knew to teach me was this, stop. Don't touch me there. This is my no-no swear. <laughs> I mean, it worked. Uh, it always worked. Still works. Uh, but you know, it's weird having adult adult daughters. Is you know, like they're on dating apps and they're asking me for advice. Uh, we all even tried the same one the other day. It was on um, Facebook um, Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> we 
where somebody reached out and said, hey, are you still available? <laughs> yeah. Uh, then never heard from him again. <laughs> it would have been a porch pickup and everything. Um, <laughs> You know, there was a guy, though, that messaged me, and it was so, he was incredibly rude. This is a true story. He said, I want to take you on a date somewhere you've never been. The kitchen. Oh, and he typed out all the O's. I was like, what kind of, what kind of person does that and thinks that they're going to get, you know what I mean? Like, who does that? So I said to my daughters, I am not responding to this person. And they're like, no, you need to. You need to for us. I'm like, all right. I'll take you on a date somewhere you've never been. The therapist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, expecting to find lasting love online, you guys, is kind of like expecting to find lobster bisque on the dollar menu at McDonald's. <laughs> you know? Uh, I mean, a guy my age, I wouldn't necessarily call him a happy meal. <laughs> He's more of like an emotionally unavailable existential crisis meal. <laughs> they come with this awesome toy, though, you guys. I don't know if you've seen these things. It's a, a CPAP machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, um, I, I just before I go, I just want to thank everybody again for having me here. I, it's, uh, this has been an absolutely amazing night. Um, and also, just as a message out there, I started in comedy just a little over a year ago, and it's been the, the most fun I've had in my entire life. You know, after you're done raising your kids and doing everything for everybody else, right? Because that's what we do, yeah. right? We take care of everybody else. Um, don't forget to take care of each other, because that's what we need to do, too. Um, but, you know, self-care isn't selfish. Like, if there's something you're thinking about going out and doing, you just get out there and do it. Get out there and do it. Uh, one of my best friends, my friend Sandra Das, she's a comedian too. She's also a new female comedian to the scene. Uh, we have a podcast called Late Bloomers, and we encourage anybody, anyone out there who wants to be on our show to reach out uh, because we want to tell your story. Okay, so if you're out there going for your dreams, it's never too late. Uh, so definitely hit us up. We'd love to have you on. Anyway, again, thank you. <laughs>